Hey everyone, Natalie here, and today I wanted to talk about debt. Um, it's a pretty big subject, and you know, you look at the United States and how many trillions of dollars in debt we are in, um, and then on an individual basis, there's a large percentage of us that have debt kind of looming over us and hanging over our heads. Um, so I just want you to know you're not alone and there are some answers for how to help yourself kind of get out of debt uh, a bit faster and really take control of that. Um, you know, whether it's debt from, you know, credit cards. Um, my husband and I, we have a lot of school debt, a lot of education debt, um, hundreds of thousands of dollars that we have to pay back. And, um, and it's not easy, you know, you know, you go get these degrees and you think you're going to come out, and you're going to have a wonderful job and everything's just going to be easy. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're a business owner, you know, there's ups and downs and a lot of times you come out with an education that doesn't prepare you for the business side. Um, you know, you may have debt, uh, car payments, it could be your mortgage. You know, there's a, there's a lot of things um, that can start to rack up debt. Um, it can happen very quickly and it can take a long time to pay off, especially when you've got high interest rates um, and, you know, things just kind of compile from there. So um, I'm really grateful to a friend who introduced us to Danny Johnson. Um, she's an amazing woman. Uh, my husband and I have gone to two of her seminars in the past two months and we've been watching some of her videos um, and her trainings on what's called War on Debt. And it's some very simple principles that can make a huge, huge impact on your life. Um, and so we're kind of going in the process, going through that process right now of really assessing everything, everything in our home, exactly where is all of our money going, um, kind of penny pinching and really getting down nitty gritty, like what are we spending on? Um, and how can we save and how can we start to pay off more and more debt uh, quite a bit faster? So just a, a couple ideas to run by you that you may not have thought of um, and it's it's so simple yet once you hear it you're like oh gosh wow you know maybe I am a little more wasteful than I thought I was um, but Danny talks a lot about um, about just being wasteful you know what what do we have in our home that we've been spending money on that's going to waste um, you know let's start in the bathroom how many lotions and shampoos, conditioners, hairsprays, you know, how many bottles of makeup and this and that, you know, do you have in your bathroom that has been sitting there? Do you use every ounce of lotion out of every single bottle that you own before you go and buy another lotion? Or do you have five bottles of lotion or more that are all half full? because you found one that smelled better or you just needed one or this or that. Um, little things like that can really add up. Um, one of her big takeaways was looking at your kitchen. Do you waste food? Um, do you go through everything in your refrigerator before you go out and buy more food? You know, how many items do you have sitting in your cupboard that have been sitting there for a long time and it's just going to waste? Do you let food in the cupboard get stale? Do you, you let your vegetables go bad? You know, you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to be healthy and I'm going to buy all these vegetables, but then you don't eat them. What is that, <laughs> right? You're being wasteful. That's money going down the drain and that's food that's being wasted um, that could be serving you or it could be serving someone else. You know, do you have a second freezer that's filled with meat and, you know, egos and who knows what else um, that's going to waste. Um, one of her, her big things is, you know, give yourself a little test. Um, don't go to the grocery store until you've eaten everything in your kitchen. And I know that seems a little crazy, like, my goodness, you know. Um, but it's actually something that my husband and I pretty much live by and we've lived by for a long time. It's only the two of us. Um, but, you know, we buy only what we need for the week. Um, maybe it'll last us a little longer than a week, but we do our best to not waste any food. It doesn't matter if it's what you want or not. We get really spoiled and we're like, oh, I don't really feel like this or I don't like leftovers. 
I personally love leftovers and I find a way to make it taste good again. You know, make a sauce, add some different spices to it, mix it up, whatever you need to do, but don't be wasteful. You know, that's extra money that you're spending to eat out or buy more food than you actually need. You know, you may be able to save hundreds of dollars on your grocery bill this next month um, just by eating what's in your kitchen, by not eating out, by eating everything you've already got, and then that extra few hundred dollars can go towards paying off your debt. Um, or it can go towards your savings. Maybe you don't have um, any debt. Good for you, awesome. Like if that's where you're at, I am so proud of you. I think that's phenomenal. Um, but then what are you doing with your money? Do you have, you know, are you saving 10% of your money to go towards, you know, savings or investments? Um, are you giving away 10% of your money? You know, that's one of those golden rules that I've heard many, many times from many people and in many stories that, you know, in order to create true wealth, give back to those who need. Um, in order to be smart with your money for the long run, how much are you putting aside every month? not just to sit in an account for retirement, but are you using it wisely so that your money grows for you? Um, just some concepts to think about and to start to create some awareness in your life. You know, really start to tally up how many times are you eating out? Um, do you have the Starbucks habit where you're spending $5 on a cup of coffee a few days a week even? How much money are you spending on things like that that could be going to pay off your debt or could be going to give back or could be going towards investments for the long run. What are you, where really is your money going? It's probably going to a lot of places that you didn't realize was wasteful, but when you really start to break it down and see where every penny is going, you're like, gosh, did I really need to buy that? Or was it something that was just an impulse buy? It was in the moment, you're like, oh, I found a coupon. So I went to the store and I bought this. You know, it was a two for one, but you never end up using even the first bottle when you bought two bottles. Um, that's being wasteful. It doesn't matter if it was on sale. Did you really need it? Was it really worth it? Um, or is it something that's just sitting around in your house now going to waste when that money could have been put to better use? So just start to create some awareness. Um, create some awareness of how wasteful you are. Look in your bathrooms, look in your closet. You know, did you really need another pair of workout pants? Probably not, you know. Um, you know, if you've got holes in something, learn how to sew and stitch it up, <laughs> make use of it, you know. Um, look at, start looking in your kitchen, start, adding up actually penny for penny how much you're spending on eating out. Is it really worth it? You know, it's not that hard to cook. It really isn't. It just takes a little practice. Just find some recipes. There's hundreds of thousands of probably millions of recipes online that you can find that are simple and quick. Start doing your food prepping, you know, twice a week and have your meals for the week. Um, just a couple tips, you know, my husband and I would try to eat as healthy as possible and, you know, twice a week I'll get a bunch of vegetables, um, peel and I use my food processor. I just put everything through there so it chops it all. I cook a few trays of vegetables, usually two to three large trays of veggies in the oven. And then we have big con Tupperware containers where those veggies will last us maybe three to three, four days or so. Um, and you know, just cook it with some olive oil. And then I use different things. I'll, I'll use different spices so that it mixes it up every time I eat it. Um, maybe a little salsa one time, a little pasta sauce on there another. Um, you know, you could use dressings, kind of like change up the flavor, but have that same staple. Then you have a big container or two of vegetables in your fridge that'll last you a few days. Um, and I rotate my meats. I'll, you know, cook some chicken, I'll cook some beef, I'll cook some fish, and it'll last me three or four days. And then I move on to the next meat and I rotate my vegetables as well. And I mix up the spices, I mix up the sauces and you can really play around with it, you know, play around with your oils, you know, different vegetable oil, uh, not vegetable oils, um, but different types of olive oil. Um, we'll use, you know, avocado or even avocado oil, uh, grass fed butter, you know, just mix up your fats so that you're having all of your primary food groups, your meat, your veggies, um, and those healthy fats that you need. Uh, so food prepping isn't really that hard. You just got to schedule the time to do it. Um, and it can really save you a lot in the long run, not only with your health, um, but also your bank account. So just a few tips for today, some food for thought, um, and hopefully this inspired you.
you know, hopefully you'll start to just spin those wheels and start to look around your house and see if there's some things that, you know, maybe some habits you can change and creating some new habits. Um, if you know of anyone that could use this advice, maybe share this video, post your comments here. Um, I'm excited to really start to clean up my life and I hope you come with me on this journey of cleaning up your life as well. Um, so don't be wasteful, take care of yourself, honor yourself, honor your money, honor the things, um, around you. Uh, and yeah, hope this helped you and thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in and again, comment, repost, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.